Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at time delay circuits, so let's get started. Now, having already looked at temperature and light dependent control circuits, time delay circuits are different because they usually involve a capacitor and a switch. It says that the capacitor takes time to charge up, so there is a delay between switching on, i.e. opening the switch, and the device turning on. The switch can then be closed to discharge the capacitor so that it is ready to use again. So if you wanted a circuit where there was some sort of time delay, then you could use a capacitor and a switch in a control circuit. And here's an example of a control circuit involving a switch and a capacitor. So you'll notice we've got our lower component being the capacitor, and we've got a switch there next to the capacitor. We've then got a resistor as our upper component, a transistor there, and an LED. And we're going to go through the steps of how this circuit is going to work using a capacitor. So it says here that when the switch is open, the capacitor slowly charges up and the voltage across it increases. So when the switch is open there, it's almost like it's not there at all, and the voltage across the lower component is going to increase. And we already know that the voltage across the lower component is equal to the voltage across the transistor. So if the voltage across the capacitor increases, then the voltage across the transistor increases as well. And when that voltage reaches the NPN transistor switch on voltage, about 0.7 volts, then that will switch on, turning on the LED. And that's what it says here. So when the voltage across the capacitor reaches 0.7 volts, the NPN transistor switches on, which in turn switches on the LED. And then it says, due to the capacitor, there is a time delay between opening the switch and the LED. LED turning on. So because it will take time for the voltage across the capacitor to increase as the voltage builds up, the voltage across the transistor won't turn on until it's high enough and then our LED will turn on after some time delay. Lastly, however, it says when the switch is closed, the capacitor discharges and the circuit can be used again. So when this switch is closed, this lets the current flowing along here flow back to ground, and it means that our voltage across the capacitor will eventually decrease back to zero volts. And it's important to be able to discharge the capacitor with a switch so that the circuit can be used again. Otherwise, you'd only get one use out of your circuit, which wouldn't be very helpful at all. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.